Hey, what's up, YouTube? So this is my battery power Eufy doorbell camera, and this here it's a solar panel that powers up my Eufy doorbell camera. <laughs> if you look at the back here, that's how is my setup. That's the wire that's going to the solar panel. Today, I'm gonna show you how I set up the solar panel to the UFI battery doorbell. So here we are at, at the workbench and I'll show you the items that we need. We're gonna need a micro USB extension. We're gonna need a magnetic cable with the plug, magnetic plug. You can see it's magnetic. We're gonna need a soldering iron and obviously the doorbell and the solar panel. All right, so let's start with the extension with the with the female with the female micro USB extension. So when you order this guy, you're gonna get it. You're gonna receive it like this: female one side, male on the other. We don't need the male side, we need the female side because we are basically making an extension from the doorbell to the outside. So if the extension is like this, cut it in half, keep the half with the female end, and then expose the wires, cut the insulation, expose the wires, and the only wires that we need is the red and the black wire. If you have more than these two wires cut the rest because the rest we don't need. We only need the red and the black wire. So you're gonna have something like this. The female micro USB connector to the exposed wires. And then split the ends, open the end insulations and uh, uh, like uh, open them like a quarter of an inch. And then we're gonna, you're gonna thin these wires with solder. So I thin these wires first. All right, so we thin the ends, having ready to get them soldered. All right, so this is the first step. This put it, put it on the side. The second step is from the from the magnetic micro USB cable. All we need is the plug the plug not the cable but if you can find the plug by itself do that and get that instead of the whole, whole cable because we're not gonna need the cable we're gonna need the the plug itself all right so if you can see there's a ring around this plug that ring is the magnetic part we need to push that ring out of the plug Okay, so I just come here and use this um, needle pliers and I start, you know, pushing towards the connection from the edges, from the edges, pushing out, pushing out until it comes out. So we need to remove the ring. This is the magnetic ring on the plug. All right. So we don't need the magnetic ring. Throw it away. We need the plug. See, it's a micro USB and it has five pins. All right, it looks like it has 10 pins, but each pin is the same as the one on the bottom. So what you need to do, this white piece, this white little piece here is plastic. So you need to shave it down. Shave it down, okay? I already did the search for you, the, the test for you that the pins that we need is the pin in the middle and the pin on the far right. The pin in the middle is the positive 
and the pin on the far right is the negative. And when I mean the far right is because it goes like this on the doorbell and the far right pin is the negative. All right, so those two pins are we're going to use. So be carefully you grab the blade and, and, and peel it, peel it off. It's plastic, the white piece is plastic. So you just peel it off until you expose the whole pin. Because uh, the pin is, it's, it's uh, bigger than what it looks like. Okay, so I'm exposing the center pin. Okay, then I'm going to expose the far right pin. It's for the ground. You got to be careful here because this blade is sharp. The center pin, like I said, is the positive and the far right pin is the negative. So we're going to solder the pigtail that we did, this pigtail, into there. Alright, so you want something, you want to hold this little plug, you want to hold it with something steady so it won't be moving around. You have to thin, you have to thin the contacts with solder first before, before attaching the wire. That way it'll be easier, it'll be easier to the wire to stick. So you grab this small vice grip and you crimp it. Not too, not too strong. Just, just see, so just so you can hold it in place when you solder the wires. Okay. Well, you can see it, but the center pin and the far right pin are thin already. It's really small, but let's see if I can get close. Hold on, let's try this. Let's try this. All right. So hopefully you can see it. You see, focus, focus. Uh, kind of really difficult to see it but you gotta thin the center and the right pin okay all right now that that is thin you grab your wire your pigtail female pigtail and you thin and you use the you, you solder the red wire to the center first okay So we are basically making a adapter, pigtail adapter. Okay, so it might be USB to female. This one, this adapter is going to attach like this to a doorbell. Like that. The doorbell has a, a rubber uh, a rubber garment here that seals it preventing water from going in you're not gonna use that anymore so you have to remove it so that rubber piece that seals here you have to remove it in order for this to work once it's, it's attached you need to open the wires spread them open because you see the sink button is there you don't want it to be pushed when you when you put the base on because the wires, when you put the base on, the mounting base, uh, it pushes the sink button and you have to resync it again. All right, so we all know that when it's charging, the light comes on, the, the, the ring turns on orange. So we have a, we're gonna test it right now. So I can show you that it works. Okay. 
So I have a five volt a charging cable here. When I plug it in, it should you should see the light come on. See, it's charging. Hopefully you get to see it. Okay. Well, let me turn this light off so you can see it better. There you go. So it's charging. If I disconnect it, you see it doesn't charge. So the pigtail is working good. All right, cool. So when you set it up, this is the mounting bracket. Just, of course, you gotta slide it in there first. You know, like this, and then you you can set it up to the left, to the right. You know, it's gonna it's gonna give you plenty of space for the wire to pop out. So you gotta do it like this. Just remember to open the wires away from the sink button. So when we're pressed, you wanna see that it works with the solar panel. Well, here we go. So this is the solar panel I've been using. It's a real link. It comes with a micro USB. This micro USB. So I'm gonna plug it. I'm gonna plug it in. There's no sunlight in here, so we're gonna be using this light source. Let's pretend this is the sun, and I'm gonna put it on the solar panel right now. Hopefully you can see it. Okay, here's here's the solar panel. Let's give it a second since it's not the sun. The sun is much faster, but this one, you're gonna see it when it starts glowing orange. There we go. So it's flashing because it's not really, the light is not really strong. There we go, steady now. You can see it's charging with the solar, the solar panel. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, you see the ring is orange. It means that it's charging and indicates that the solar panel is charging my doorbell. So this is the setup that I have. I've been having for more than a month. I have not charged this guy because my solar panel has it charging every day. So this is my setup. How to make the UV battery powered doorbell be charged with a solar panel all right I hope uh, this helps you guys and of course you need a little bit of skills but uh, in time but um, it could be done if you would have done this plug down here or where the where the opening is if the micro USB was here there was no need to do this but this doorbell works with this solar panel this way, making your own pigtail. And I'm going to post on the bottom, on, on the description, I'm going to post the, the items that I used. That way you can, you know, uh, find them and, and, and do it yourself. But again, on the solar panel, you can use any other solar panel. You don't have to use this one. Um, but this one has been working for me really good. The most difficult part is soldering the wires to the micro pins but it works perfect thank you guys for watching and hopefully this helps you thank you i forgot to mention that after doing this since you're removing the rubber seal you need to seal it again you need to make it somewhat waterproof but if, it, if you are installing it under a porch with a, with a ceiling uh, and there's no water directly when it rains, there's no water directly falling into it, you'll be okay. But in my case, that is on a fence and it's exposed to the, we to the, con to the weather conditions. If it rains, it's gonna, water is going to pour on it. So 
if you are in the same case, just grab a piece of duct tape, piece of duct tape, or spread the wires, remember to spread the wires, grab a piece of duct tape, and put it above the connection. And that is going to seal it rather than leave it exposed to the weather. So it's ready to be installed.